Christmas, but something wrong with me, Linus. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel. Hello and welcome to another vlog. This one is about loving your friends from afar because I've been thinking that this year has obviously been very hard on everyone and I, I feel like a lot of my closest friends are going through some sort of hardship this year and then on top of that there's COVID as well so it's just been a really crazy year for everyone and I've been thinking that I want to do something for my friends, uh, just anything to, you know, just wishing that I could be there with them through their hardship and be there for them but obviously I can't be there in person so I was thinking why don't I send everyone presents? This may not sound like a you know completely in innovative idea but for me it's completely out of the norm because I always considered myself as not much of a gift giver and giving gifts is one of my weakest love languages. By the way do you guys know about love languages and if so what's your love language? I would love to know. Uh, but yeah, so gifts is one of my weakest ones. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like love languages are skills that you can acquire and get better at. So I want to get better at my gift giving. And I, this year, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to practice more gratefulness and positivity and just appreciating everyone who is in my life right now and I feel like they all deserve to be loved so much more and if that means I need to get better at a love language that I'm not that good at then so be it. So it's going to be a challenge for me as well to think of presents for everyone um, but I'm excited at the thought and I hope that it cheers them up a little bit at the end of the year and makes them feel loved from afar. Lockdown ended last week, so I am going into town to get some Christmas presents. There are a few friends where I don't quite know what to get them, so I'm hoping that if I just walk around through some shops, hopefully I'll get some inspiration. got back from shopping and I thought I would quickly show you guys what I got in case you're interested. I got I got a scarf for Life Lab Mate. <laughs> and then I got a book for my friend who really loves reading. She keeps on posting um, book reviews on Snapchat and this is actually a book that I myself also wanted to read for so long. So and I've heard that it's really good so I hope she likes it. Then I got some Korean sheet masks for um, a friend who mentioned that she likes Korean skincare. And then for another friend, for Nadine. Um, if you guys remember her from my vlogs, which I hope you do. Uh, for Nadine, I'm gonna get send her like a little care packet. So I got her an eyelash curler because she used to always talk about how my eyelashes are naturally curly and hers are straight or straighter and then i got her nail polish because i remember she used to always borrow mine um, when she used to live in london i tried to find so she really likes this color but this is something i got in like a random boutique uh, and when she was living in london she used to always borrow this nail polish so i was trying to find something similar but this is the best i could do it's not it's not quite the same i don't know if you can sell that Anyways, I hope she likes that. And then I got her some Muji pens because she likes to journal and she likes like stationery and stuff. So hopefully this will be nice. So yeah, that's all I got today. I got some, some present tags. So I'm very excited to pack them up and make them look all cute and send them off. I need to get a few more things, but I'll probably order those online because it's just hard shopping. It's so cold outside and there's so many people and I just ran out of patience by the end of it. So I think I'll get some less, like the other remaining things. I'll try to get that online.
presents, trying to find these things online so that I can get them delivered to my house and then I can quickly wrap them up, add a card and send it off. Um, I've got one friend who has recently started to do a lot of nail art. She got herself like a gel nail art thing so that she can do gel nails at home. So I'm trying to get order her some nail art brushes so that she can do some cool designs. Uh, then I've got another friend who's recently started working out at home, so I'm gonna get some resistance bands. And then for Nadine's little care packet, I decided I also want to add some skincare because there is one specific product that she mentioned recently saying that she would like to have it. So I'm gonna try and get that ordered as well. So I'm just sitting in front of my laptop right now trying to get these things ordered. I'm actually kind of excited to buy these things and to see whether my friends like them. I think I used to always just tell myself that I'm a bad gift giver, but now that I'm putting some effort and thought into it, I'm getting some ideas. I'm just thinking about what are people's hobbies? What have they recently been into? Is there anything that they've mentioned recently? What is something that could be useful for them? Um, so that's kind of how, how I'm trying to go. And yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I feel very excited now and I hope everyone likes their presents. Obviously, it's nothing, it's nothing major, right? It's just a thought, something that they may have mentioned or something that made you think of them. So hopefully they like it. I'm also getting my parents like a few small things. We also don't really do presents just because they're like me. They also aren't really like the best at giving gifts and we kind of have this policy at home where it's like if you if there's something you really need then just get it when you need it instead of waiting for a specific occasion but obviously like you know if it's something big and you need to save up money then that's one thing but if you genuinely need it and you can afford it then get it immediately so we never used to do presents but i've been thinking like is there anything that they've mentioned surely there must be something that i could get them and I remember this one thing that my mom mentioned, which is a sort of sort of like a some organizational type thing. And so I found that online. I'm getting it delivered to mine and so that I can wrap it up and I'll take it with me to Austria and place it under the Christmas tree. It's just small things. Hopefully she'll just be, you know, touched that I remembered something that she mentioned in the past. Um, that really is it. Mm. I got myself some tea and some carrot cake to keep me company. I don't know why, but actually I do know why. Carrot cake basically tastes like Christmas to me. Maybe because of like the cinnamon and I don't know, but it's so lovely. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha